maybe we can start. We are not going to play it in no particular order. We are going to listen to them. Okay. Okay. Jessica, I hope you've done the cleaning already. Okay. <laughs> 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 so when I, when I record in the studio, creatively, I think most artists will relate. You just want to say exactly what you want to say. Then afterwards, the technical bit is the engineer, the management, they go to uh, deep in our, mm -hmm. whatever that is. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, um, boss, I'm sorry, I gave you work, eh? But you didn't have to, like, listen to, because even the producers, when I told them to do the clean version, they still weren't really able to do 100. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're done. I yeah. trust you, boss. Yeah. So, um, my favorite, I think, it keeps changing. I, I, I was definitely into No Forgive Me, but um, I think I love anything. Anything. Yes, anything is, is uh, that I like. Uh, well, what's making it change? Uh, what made it move from no fugazi to anything? Um, I think I've loved anything for a very long time because it was there before no fugazi. Mm -hmm. So that fact that no fugazi is new and it's fresh, I loved it. And then uh, it was Afrobeat that I was rapping. I was really, really rapping. It's, it's, it sounds like hip hop, but then it's still Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. It's new for me, so I mm -hmm. loved it. Mm -hmm. But anything is more of the, the message, mm -hmm. the music, and then mm -hmm. the mood of the beat is very. It's very suck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, is this album actually created for your hip hop lovers? Because I have seen some one or two comments, people who think that yeah, this is for the suck or the hip hop class. Yes, um, not all the way because I can say it's hip hop dominated, but it's not like one hundred percent hip hop. Exactly. My previous album, which was Black Love, was mm -hmm. dominated by Afro. Afro naturally, yeah, yeah, yeah. person, you get tired of sound. So mm. none of my albums are back to back the same thing. Mm. So when I get frustrated, I can go and do Mary, mm. and then come out, and then it brings you back. When you're about. say when you got frustrated. Yeah, the inspiration came from grammar, but okay. then I get. Uh, it's, I don't know how to explain it. Every creative person can can tell you that you can hit a block where you can't write anymore, and that means you you are not challenging yourself. So then. You have to switch and do some, try something else. And then when you come back to rap, you appreciate it. Mm. Now that I've dropped this one, if I do a hip hop album again, my approach will be hard because now I'm about to do the same thing over again. But mm. if I go and try jazz and come back to this, then I'll appreciate it. So that's literally what I do. Mm. Mm. Same thing. <coughs> so that when I was done with the music, when it came out, that was when it, it clicked. Rap charts and, and gas and all art. You see, it's a rhyme. <laughs> You get it, <laughs> and literally that was that. And mm. I, I, I would understand somebody who would say, "Oh, you're lying, you're talking about," you know. But it's, it's far from that. It's far yeah, from yeah, that. It's far mm. from, it shouldn't be like that. No. It's, so yeah, I'm just telling it mm. just for me today. No wise, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, also, they also are not maybe listen to come back. <laughs> Normally, they just when you lucky, you lack it, you need to And when it's there. Yeah. Angel can listen to some of the songs and really want me to take a line out. And as soon as that line comes out, and you mean yeah, I mean exactly. Uh, but it's never personal. Uh, uh, and Bradshaw uh, is far from uh, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. So the SM Fatigue should know about this. <laughs> <laughs> Bradshaw is, it couldn't even be that Charles that we don't yes. or a non-existent yeah, Charles. Exactly. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please kindly subscribe for me. Thank you. Yeah, so as we all know, Sakwadie just released a new album titled No Pressure Album just this Friday. Yeah, and in one of the songs on the album, he mentioned the name Charles, Charles which is the name of what Satawali. Chata Wale. So as he mentioned Charles in his album, some people are saying it is a this um and or it is a job to Chata Wale. So this is what he's explaining that it was just to make a rhyme, just to rhyme. Uh, like the line that he the line in that song, that particular line, it was the child's name that like we we'll make it what complete or we'll make it um fit you get it uh-huh so if it takes if it takes the name out that child from there like to replace it with another word like it it doesn't match are you getting it uh-huh so that is just the reason why he used the name charles but not to dish at all or something like that you get it uh-huh 
but you know Ghanaian is here, Charlie. Agenda, yeah, a day. Agenda, agenda. I read on Twitter, what I read on Twitter, someone was just saying Shatawale was helping Sakode to promote the album. Just realized that he subbed him on the album, Charlie. Twitter was agenda, yeah, day, too much. So, like, Edna Sakode, I can what I say. Sometimes, so, we team do my, what do say, like, some things we they say in the song here, yeah, it was just purposely to make the song or sweet, I get it, or to make everything fit, but just not just to date someone or something like that, you get it. Uh huh. But I guess that sometimes we don't understand them, you get it. Uh huh. But we, those who understand them, we understand. Sometimes to some of us, we understand, but just because of agenda and thing, you have to be pulling. The artist, you know, in leg small, you get it. Uh -huh. So that is that. Thank you very much for watching. Please kindly subscribe to this channel if you have it and turn on the notification. Thank you.